nice one. I was I was Team Poplio at the very beginning, like yeah, very beginning, back when he was being memed on for sure. Yeah. And uh, Poplio grew up to be a, a strong, independent female slash male maybe who don't need no training. Yeah, okay? exactly. Yeah. Careful who you call ugly in middle school. <laughs> and I like Incineroar, dude. I do too. I like the all. Situa is confused. I That's think all yeah, I have. Seven underrated. You know what I'm not confused about? This next set we got going on between Kane and SVP, my man. Yeah. Uh, Kane, so I've heard the tag a lot before. I've never actually seen it play. No, okay. But I, I was, wasn't he from Brawl, actually? Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Really good Brawl player. Uh, he's been coming to admission and doing pretty well in bracket, actually. I'll, I'll hop on the main mix just like, to, to give history. Kane was the number one Brawl player in Illinois. Yeah. So he was, he was the, like, the player. I think he was top three both in the world. Okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that, actually. Thank you. Um, he's been coming to Ignition a lot, and he's been doing very well. He's, I, I think he's been wolfed the entire time, and his wolf yeah, is pretty strong. He didn't compete a lot in Smash 4, did he? I don't remember if being in Smash 4, actually. Wow, yeah. He did not compete at all. He did not compete at all? He yeah. Like, he wow, I'm minuscule glad. amount of events from King <laughs> in Smash 4. But I'm definitely glad he's found his footing in Ultimate, because I, I just love seeing the scene grow with new and old players alike. To see people return along with old characters, it's really like... This really feels like I don't mean to get sappy or like personal in the commentary, but man, he really does feel like a get celebration. Get as sappy as you life. want, man. Uh, I want to see you cry. It's such a good celebration seeing like people I've never met before who were playing competitively before I got on the scene on a different game, and then old, old characters coming back from my childhood. It's just very memorable. This game's amazing, and, and I'm glad you called United tonight. <laughs> uh, that said, speaking of uh, uniting, uh, this game is a. Uh, pretty close right now. Yeah, honestly. dude, while you were gushing, everyone just, like, is at mor mortally oh. wounded. Hey. Whoa, well, you see that back here, actually. That is a kill move that I never thought I'd see kill, or, like, I didn't think I'd, uh, I'd see kill too often. But I'm glad I saw it there, just so I have, like, a reason to tell people, yes, Inkling has a kill through. <laughs> yeah. Believe me when I say it works. Pick and choose your opportunities, man. Oh, dude, no. jump's gone. he's jump's dead? Gone. Yeah. Wow! That yeah, was crazy good. Insane. After a very, very close start to the match where no one wanted to give up their first stock, SVP says, yeah, you're going to have to lose your second stock in about five seconds. Right. That's all right. SVP's still untouchable. And uh, Wolf's, uh, Wolf's pretty strong, though. Wolf can find his way back into this really quickly. He just needs to, like, literally, like, any tilt at this point. Of course. And the Legend <laughs> of Cain behind him, <coughs> I definitely see this as nowhere near impossible. Yeah. Oh, it's actually like not fishing as much as uh, most players would. Playing very safe, uh, spacing his aerials, but as for just catching his legs, very, uh, very careful. Yeah, you know, a lot of the times when uh, you see a good matchup like this, where two really good players go at it, and uh, someone takes away two stocks before they lose one, a lot of the times what happens? The one who has three stocks loses like their stock immediately. That didn't happen. SVP yeah. kept those three stocks for a very long time and wrecked like 89 damage on the cane. That's huge. Right. Cane? Again, like, like I said, he's very, he's being very, very patient right now. He's keeping his footing. Uh, that oh, that was extra scary though. Good job getting out of it. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that up here, man. Up here is deadly. Oh, this goes for Bumble. I wonder if he's looking for some kind of grab release setup or you know, just want to maximize damage. Yeah, we'll throw. That could be that. <laughs> no, no throw there really is going to do anything. I uh, a back throw. I don't. It's too. Far off the too close to the middle, so I wouldn't do anything. I, I I think he just didn't expect him to probably. Get, get Very impressed with the uh, with this slow but sure comeback. Uh, this is this is something you wouldn't really expect to see at this level very often, but of course it happens all the time, even top level. Like you see, you see these comebacks uh, almost all the time. That's probably it. Yep. Man, SCP, that was a really good game from him. He he played incredibly well. He he, he, he was very aggressive in times when he needed to be, but also mo most importantly, very patient. Because against the wolf, that's huge. Because wolf just like wolf will just take a bite at you, dude. Of course, he <laughs> I think that's his uh, the third hit of his jab actually. At least it wasn't brawl. He just bites. He just bites. You. It's so it's so unique too. Because if you look closely, he actually has an animation where he bites his mouth after oh. he bites you. It's so crazy. That's a, that's like. It's like a little sadistic, actually. It is. That's, it's very. My goodness, I'm a little scared. Nice. I'm scared. Of, well, you should be kind of. You kind of should have been scared. Of I mean, that's anyway. the point of it. He's got that eye patch for a reason. He's seen some. Uh, <laughs> He's seen some stuff, dude. He's scarred. Yeah. Inside uh, now, man. Literally, uh, and mentally, <laughs> physically, and mentally. Uh, but Kane, 
I like seeing Kane here. I, I like seeing uh, Kane attend these events and doing well. I'm so happy I get to meet all these new people. Right? Who have more experience in Smash than probably most people here. He's one of the few people um, that we see come to tournaments often and place relatively well who is not uh, relevant in Smash 4 at all. Uh, and that's, again, that's really impressive. Yeah. My, uh, I, I just based on last game, uh, it really, really, uh, he really screwed Kane over uh, using his jump uh, in the middle in the middle of SP. He's uh, I don't want to call it wall of pain, but as he was getting comboed off the right side of stage, he saw that jump go away and along with the stock. Uh, but I'm sure Kane's gonna be more careful after that. Uh, but we're gonna see. I'm sure we're gonna see SP uh, SP is at, adapt. Sorry as well. Right now we're kind of seeing a bit of that. Uh, Kane's fully inked right now. Yeah, SP's speed is sort of a is that, take. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Kane has not really been able to find it uh, around SVP's movement. It's just been really good. He, his neutral presence is solid, and when he needs to be in the air, he's not too aggressive. The SVP is just playing really well right now. Think of, uh, what's really unique about SVP is that at, at a glance, it might seem like he's approaching haphazardly, but if, if you look closely, he's <laughs> like, look at that. He's just avoiding every possible thing that. Uh, Kane's wolf can throw out. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you see all these blasters? No, just jumping right over. See these, like, F tilts to uh, stuff on approaches? No, it's simple. Like, yeah, it, it is really impressive, like, like how quickly SVP's mind works and process and everything that can hit His, even the rollers that have missed from SVP have been really creative and really good. Right. He's and, missed. And if he whips, he, he does so safe and jumps yeah. out of danger. He's missed a couple, uh, just out of like, when Kane was like, on the ground and rolled out of him and stuff. But, for the most part, that has been a, a very, very useful solid tool from SVP. Yeah, especially because of all the crazy confirms out of it. Uh, after the, after 2.0, of course, uh, it now varies from longer at higher percents. Yeah, this is like an endurance match for Kane right now. Racking up damage really hasn't been a problem for him, but finding that kill move, surprisingly enough, has been a, a huge problem for him. Yes, but it is the same stock situation. 54% is no <gasps> What? Oh, he caught him! 50%. Excuse me, I was wrong the whole time! Kane had it in his back pocket! He eats squids for breakfast! He loves seafood, dude. I'm actually in shock. That was so amazing. I'm so glad to have witnessed it. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about, is that you do have to be, because Wolf can catch you with that. His forward smash does reach uh, off stage like that, and he was able to catch SVP. I think that was down smash. Was that, wait, was that down I'm smash? I'm pretty sure it was down smash. Oh, it was forward smash. I think you might be right. You might I don't be right, know. I'll go back and look later. Whatever it was, oh my god, it killed way too early. Even with Max Rage, I've like I've not fully seen the influence of Rage in this game, so I can't make an educated statement on like what percent what, what percent that should have killed that. All I know is that that was nothing I've ever seen. Hey, it's so weird because like this whole matchup, uh, Wolf's strength really has just been sort of not important because SVP's movement has been so good. Wow! But those last Kane two stocks. Wow. It, it's it's really completely changed the game. I, this is this is one of those like momentum shifts, though, dude. This is like Kane has not been able to find anything consistent at all. And after getting those last two smash tags, because uh, that one was down smash. The first one, I could have sworn it was first smash, but I'm not sure. You're probably, you're probably right. No, we'll see. It doesn't matter. Too, though. Doesn't matter. It killed. It killed. <laughs> That's all that matters. That was the game changer right there. We're going back to stadium. Uh, fair enough. I can't let SCP cannot let uh, that game get into his head though because he, he can't let that upset his like his movement has been so good this whole set that if, if he lets that second game get into his head that it's it, just gonna be over yeah it, it's it's like people always say mindset really is everything in this game if you start thinking that was me personally and I hate to talk about myself so much but like me personally when I'm playing a no, set you don't. and I start thinking about a um, like the outcome of a match before before the actual match itself, that's when it all just starts slipping away. Goes downhill. Yeah. So you really, you really have to stay on your toes, and as soon as as soon as you reclaim your focus, or once you regain your focus, you start climbing your way back up. But uh, SP, I feel like I feel like this is still gonna be a pretty even game. Uh, SP, not known for choking, so to speak. And now uh, Kane's fully inked up. We can go either way right now. Both players playing neutral, very, very intelligent. Yeah, I 
feel like even though Kane really has not had a problem racking up damage uh, this whole set, I feel like his play has been he, he better better in the sense that I, if, I feel like he's getting um, a feel for SVP's playstyle and how he's hopping yeah. around him. You can see, because I was commenting earlier, that patience was really coming into play like game one, even when uh, when he was slowly making his way back. He may have dropped it eventually, but uh, the fact that he was mounting come back to begin with, he, there's something said about it, how impressive that was. Then we see the game two in this game here, it's game three. That patience is, it's like you said, he's figuring out his, his playstyle and he's using that patience to his advantage. Both the combination of downloading SVP and having all that patience is really culminating in this lead right here, as we see. But SVP, again, known for being a very smart player and a very impressive in advantage state, so uh, it, it's far from over. Oh, oh yeah, dude. absolutely. Um, it's weird though, this is sort of a reversal of fortunes. Now SVP is having trouble finding the uh, the move that kills. Um, Kane at a very high percent, but the difference here is that Wolf just has so much more power than Inkling. That right now, yes. he, he, Wolf could kill Inkling right now and it would not be a surprise at all. Meanwhile, Inkling needs like, uh, well I don't, I don't want to say this percent, but if Wolf were at this percent, the only feasible way uh, uh, he would die to Inkling is maybe a roller uh, at ledge, at like 70 or 80. At this percent, it's totally feasible. But no, the kill power, the kill power is just distributed better on Wolf's entire new set. Yeah, uh, Inkling has some pretty powerful aerials, definitely if you get an up air right now, you're, you're toast. Uh, even a back throw. Forward throw will not back, do it. Yeah. Oh, oh down, down throw. I that, forgot about down throw, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> sure. Fourth throw, throw is knockback. Fourth throw kills at like 560. Yeah. <laughs> it's more of like an ink damage throw. Yeah, But yeah. I like that, it's, it's less impressive too. And, and that move does end up being useful every once in a while because uh, Ink Bomb, you can you can definitely pressure pressure your opponent off stage. Now we're now now we're gonna see what happens uh, when Kane is on the side of having to find a kill move because SVP is slowly racking up. To, oh, never mind, hashtag, okay. dude, punted. It, that's a field goal. Oh. That's. <laughs> oh, I actually very very much like, like, love Kane's combos because I've definitely seen Wolf before, but. Not, not like this. Mm, just, yeah. just seeing, seeing these homemade world combos, uh, having to actually focus on them is very, very interesting experience. Uh, knowing what this character can do, Kane's the one to show it, especially if he's been playing Wolves in the world. He's one of the best Wolves in the world. Wolves in the world. Yeah. Is it Wolves or Wolves? Wolves, I mean, because Wolves would be like a plural of yeah, Wolves, yeah, no. and Wolves is his moves. Wolf is his name. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's him, it's his personality. He hasn't been using Blaster a whole lot. I don't really find him. I, I don't think Blast up, uh, Blaster really matters in this matchup a whole lot. No, uh, I mean, I mean, both, they both, both characters got projectiles. Solid projectiles. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know if projectiles are going to help him, uh, help him right here. We look at it this way. Two of the be better projectiles in the game with Ink Bomb and Blaster. Uh, Inkling can just sort of low profile under Blaster, or hop over it. It really has not that been that big of a deal. And also, if you use it at a bad time, Inkling just gets on you. And uh, Ink Bomb should be reflected. Yes. So, both projectiles you know, in this you know, game. Uh, Yo. Good stuff to Kane, actually. Uh, maintaining his cool, under, under all that pressure, he manages to fudge it out of the I'm speaking of Splat Bomb and Blast, uh, uh, Splatter Shot, at least. Mm -hmm. you know, those, are, those are both absorbable. I figured that um, the splash out was, but why? That was the one I figured wasn't. Because it's just ink. 